everyone and welcome back to another one of my videos today we're going to be doing um some checks and stripes um so i want to use these um within my design so um yeah let's get started so first i've got my tips here i'm using lavender violets h404 and um, we're just going to put that on as a base for the nails so just making sure that we've got that straight and just applying it nice and even. It's quite a nice white, just making sure that I'm in shot. Oh God, look, got bits in it already. Oh dear. So pop that in, the lamp, two coats. So that's just come out of the lamp now. We've done our two coats. I'm just going to give it a wipe with some isopropyl alcohol and a lint-free wipe. And then I've got my palette here and I'm going to take um, my uh, striper brush. It's just a cheap one that I got from eBay. You know, nothing special. And Beetles 270, uh, which is like a stone colour, I think. Sort of like a grey stone colour. Just pop a little bit of that onto my um, palette. Okay, just run the brush through the polish um, so it's nice and even, getting a good anchor on my finger so that I'm happy. And I'm just marking out where I want the first part of the line to go. And I'm just using my brush to create the pressure. And the, the brushes like this should just do the work themselves, really. So, yeah. And I'm just going to mark where I want my other ones to go. I am actually recording this afterwards. Um, usually I record them as I'm doing it. Um, Simply because, you know, as all of us, we have got our kids at home because we are in lockdown 3.0 again and the schools are closed. So my kids were fighting and screaming in the background when I recorded this. So I have had to um, delete the audio and do a voiceover, which is what I'm doing now. So um, it may not always be in sync. Um, but yeah, hopefully you'll still enjoy it. That's my first lot of... Um, lines there I'm just trying to create a diamond all the way down the nail so we're gonna have one diamond in the middle and then two half diamonds underneath and at the top and that bit on the end yeah it's it didn't work out right so um, I think I go in and clean that up that's the beauty of gel, you know, it's easy to um, to fix it if need be. So, um, yeah, here we go. Sorry, that's my computer making noises now. So I'm now taking my cleanup brush, which is just a flat um, ended brush and some isopropyl alcohol and I'm just going to clean up that little part there. See? Simple as that. Easy peasy. And then I'm going to flash cure that for 10 seconds and that's already been flashed and we're back out the lamp now and so we can go in I think we're going to go in and colour in yeah, we're going to go in and colour in. Now, I think with this part, I faffed a little bit because I started off colouring with this striper brush. And if I remember rightly, I switched brushes part way through because I didn't feel like it was colouring in as quickly as I like, as I would have liked. But then I think I switched another brush and I went back to this one anyway in the end because the other one was just worse. <laughs> so, yeah. I'll just be quiet and I'll let you guys watch me colouring in.
Oh, we're flash clearing. Oh, flash clearing. No, flash curing that little bit that I've coloured in. And um, now I'm taking a gel liner brush, which is the thicker one that I was talking about. And um, yeah, this one didn't really work. I think the brush itself was a bit too stiff. The bristles were too stiff. Yeah, it was too stiff. But anyway, we muddle through, as is the way. So there we go. I'm going to faff around with these now and I'm going to flash them. So I'm just going to be quiet and you can watch. See, it leaves quite a few gaps and you can't really get into the edges with it. So, yeah, I wouldn't advise using a brush like that. I like the colouring in bits. Quite satisfying, really, isn't it? It's like adult colouring. Once you've got the outline done. And who doesn't love colouring? I used to do it all the time when I was a little girl. Absolutely loved it. So there we go. I think we pop that in the lamp now. Or am I going to faff a bit more? Oh yeah, I'm going to faff. Yeah, I can see why. There's some bold patches that need filling in. I am recording this while my kids are still around, um, but I think they're nicely playing on the Nintendo Switch at the moment, so hopefully there'll be no screams and shouts. We shall see. So just tidying up these edges here before we pop it in to, to cure. I couldn't quite get into those corners with the bigger brush. And that's it. I'm going to flash, flash cure that. I can't say that. Why can't I say flash cure? Something wrong with me, seriously. Okay, so Fairy Glow, this is quite a nice. 58014. It is a pink, glittery, and the Fairy Glow ones, I absolutely adore. They're so pigmented and they're super cheap so you know if you are a home user um then you can use these and um yeah you can get them from amazon actually if any of you guys want to know um the links then let me know in the comments below and i can uh, i can sort you out with those um so obviously i've loaded my brush now with the pink and i'm going right in the center and lay my brush down um just to make sure that we're getting that line nice and even and making sure it's straight whilst looking all the time to make sure that we're in the middle um, both sides and then once you're happy with the placement you can then go in and start to thicken up the um, the line which is what I'm doing here and tidying it up a little bit And then you could flash cure now, I suppose, if you wanted to, but I just carried on because it wasn't touching the other ones. And, you know, the lines weren't that close together. So if I messed up, it wouldn't be difficult to clean it up and then do it again. So just getting some more paint now for the third line. Placing that nicely down the centre, although that was a little bit wibbly wobbly. I love these colours together though, I think they look really classy. There we go. I'm just going to tidy that up and neaten that now. Probably made it thicker than it needs to be in some places, but we can go in and clean that up. I think that's what I do next. Yep, there we go. Just a little bit of alcohol on the end. 
and just bring that thickness in and make the line a bit thinner. There we go. So I'm just tidying that up now. And then we're going to flash that. And out it comes. So now I'm going to do the lines um, the other way. So I just need a bit more paint. And I'm going to pop that down the other side. So again, anchor in your position, making sure that you're comfortable and stable, and then placing your brush. Bit of pressure, push it down making sure all the time that you are looking to make sure that it's level and you've got the same amount of gap each side and you've got a nice even cross right in the middle of that diamond and the last one i think i'm going to do now yep Just catch those edges because obviously the tips are slightly um, rounded so sometimes when you're using a stripe you just have to go in and just finish those around the edge because of the curve so if you're happy with that pop that in the lamp and now we're moving on to the next one which is Rosalind 33 is the polish I'm using which is quite a nice pink um, so I'm just going to go ahead and pop that on the tip Nice, even coverage. Anyway, guys, if you um, do like my videos, I'm trying to build my channel, so I'd be really grateful if you would like and subscribe. Um, it would really mean a lot to me, and then it means that I can continue to do a lot more videos for you guys. And if there is anything you want to see, obviously you can just pop a link. Sorry, not a link. What am I talking about? um sorry i'm just saying they're two coats out it comes yeah so just pop a comment below for me and let me know what you want to see so i've cured this nail for two minutes now and it's had sorry not two minutes i've cured it and it's had two coats and now i've got some on my palette and i'm taking a dotting tool and i'm picking that up and i'm just going to place it um on the nail now i really struggle with this because I tend to find that if I'm not careful, it's not down the center. So that's why I like to start in the middle of the nail first, because then I can make sure my dots are all going to be in the center of the nail rather than treading off, starting off well at the top and then treading off to the side as we get down to the bottom. So um, that's what I'm doing here. And then obviously, once you're happy with the placement, go back in and make sure they're all even and they're all as big as one another. If that's a look you're going for, if it's not, then, you know, change them to whatever you, you want. So I'm just going in and putting extra paint on to make sure that it's nice and chunky. And obviously, you know, because you are putting quite a lot more on, you need to make sure that you're going to cure it properly. So sometimes it's best like that to give it a double cure. So off into the lamp. And once that's cured, um, then we're going to pick up our stickers. I think, again, I got these from AliExpress. Um, they're quite tricky to manoeuvre, actually. You'll see me faffing with these. So I didn't know how best to pick them up. Obviously, I wanted to put them on the nail, but I didn't want to take off the whole strip because I didn't want to make this part that I wasn't using non-sticky non anymore, if that makes sense. So I think I measured it a little bit here. Then cut it off with some cuticle nippers. That was the closest thing I could find to hand. And at least then the other part that I wasn't using was still sticky. And then I used that and placed it on the nail. Like so. Pushing it down. And then... Did I do the other side? Yeah, I'm doing the other side next. So 
it's quite tricky actually to get um level or straight on a tip like this because it keeps moving about as you can see it wiggles um so making sure that that's secure on the nail and then i'm going to take my cuticle nippers and just trim off the excess but you want to be bringing it in slightly just not quite level with a nail but just so it's slightly under so that when you um cure your top coat it doesn't start to peel and you can kind of encapsulate it with your top coat if that makes sense at least then it's not going to be poking out especially if you've got it on a customer or on a client it's not poking out and they're not going to um stop picking at it because if they start picking at it then the whole top coat is going to come off so doing it this way I can seal it all in we go so i'm not sure what are we doing next oh we're going to the next one <laughs> so we've got our lavender violets again um i think this is the white one again is it the white one i couldn't quite see then oh yep yeah. see this is just as much of a surprise to me as it is to you this video i mean it was a couple of weeks ago when i recorded this <laughs> oh dear so i'm just reminding myself what i've done um, so obviously we're going in again with another uh, base coat of white. We will be doing two coats of this and popping it in the lamp. Getting out any fuzzies. Fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzz, fuzz. Okay, woman, stop faffing. Get it in the lamp. Hello. Put it in the lamp. God damn it. Hooray! Here we go. What do we do next? Oh yes. Um, oh yes. I mean, I love gold leaf, and I thought I'd look for some different ones, um, different colours. Obviously, we've got most people have got gold and silver and rose gold, but I looked in AliExpress for lots of different colours, and I found these pink ones along with some others. I think I've got purple and um, what are the other colours I got? Uh, yellow, obviously, is gold. Um, I think I've got some greens and all sorts of different colours. So. Um, I wanted to use these pink ones here because I thought they were really different. So I'm just breaking them up here into little pieces um, with my two, um, what are they called? Tweezers. <laughs> Tweezers. And um, applying a little bit of top coat. You can use top coat, base coat, whatever you want really, just to make it tacky on the, on the nail. Um, and I'm only applying it where I want to put roughly where i want to put the um the gold leaf it's not called gold leaf what can i call this pink leaf although it's not called pink leaf i don't know whatever it's called flakes it's not really my lot of flakes either is it anyway let me know what they're called because i can't remember um so just popping them on with my brush where i want to place them so i'm just kind of doing like a curve all the way around the nail from um the top just down one side oh look faff 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 just placing them on the nail where we want them and then we can you know move them around afterwards once we've got a fair bit on the nail it wasn't the best brush to use to be honest i'm actually waiting for my um natalie mugridge um detail brushes to arrive so um they've been out of stock for a while so um, I just ordered them last night, so hopefully they'll be here soon. So, I mean, the, you know, there's no right and wrong way to do this kind of design here. However looks pleasing to the eye for you, I suppose. It's personal preference, really. I thought I'd finish them, but I'm still going to faff on. I'm still going to put more bits on. Yep, there we go. And is it going in the lamp? Are we done? Yep. In the lamp it goes. And there it is. So next we're going to top coat with a no wipe top coat, glossy one, all over the nail. And obviously making sure that we put plenty on where those flakes are to make sure that they're all sealed in and that they're not going to pop off. And again, that there's no bits sticking out, but you know, with this type of um, these flakes, they're quite, they're quite good. They sit quite flat. So just make sure that they're all covered. 
and then pop it in the lamp for a full cure. And onto the next now, we've got Beetles 270 again. So we're going to do a full cover nail in this colour. And then just making sure that it's nice, even coverage. And then we're going to do two coats and pop them in the lamp, obviously in between. And it goes. And that's that out now. And we're going to take some more of these. Now, I wasn't sure, actually, how I wanted to do this nail. I had an idea in my mind what I wanted to do with the other ones, but this one was a bit like suck it and see at the time um so actually i think i i quite liked the way it turned out in the end i didn't know where i wanted to place it that's why i'm fanning around now because i'm like mm, do i want it there or you know where do i want it um so yeah i went with that in the end pressing it down and using the nippers to make sure that we're getting off the the excess on the edges There we go, just making sure that it's short slightly from the edge so that we can encapsulate it with the top coat. And we're going to take some more top coat now and I'm going to put it on um, this nail just a little bit on the area where I'm going to put some of this pink leaf. And then... Pop that on. Now I only wanted this on the ends. I thought it looked kind of cool like that on the end. Just randomly. Just placing it wherever we've got some gaps. We don't want mess massive gaps, but we don't want to fill it in. Making sure to wipe the edges and make sure that there's nothing hanging over. I'm going to pick up a little bit more. And then once you're happy, oh no, we're not curing yet. We've got our pink again, pink glitter. And here we go, we're going to do another stripe to match the other ones. Again, I wasn't sure where I wanted to place this either. So I just went with that. Putting the pressure down, letting the uh, brush do the work. Sorry if you can hear my kids talk in the background. I'm just grateful that they're not fighting at the moment could all change though in a few minutes so I'm happy with that and I'm going to pop that in the lamp to cure and we need to top coat this one because I didn't do it earlier making sure that you know you're really going over those um the sticker areas um so that we can't see any seams that's the plan here that's what I'm trying to do here to so that you know you can't see the lines of where the sticker starts and ends to blend it. Um, but also with this, you know, because it is a textured nail and it is kind of 3D, I don't want it to self-level in between where the dots are and make the dots not so sticky outy. Um, that's why I'm going in between here. Um, I don't want too much top coat on them and I'm just going around the edges. And then, you know, obviously I've lightly gone over the, the dots with my brush um, to make them shiny um, just making sure that I've not got too much around there really 
and then when you're happy pop it in the lamp and um, this is the other one that just needs to top coat now it's been in the lamp we've given it a full cure and we are just going to make sure that all of the flakes are encapsulated within the top coat and again with that sticker making sure that we can't see any um or any start and end parts of the um the edges making sure to blend it and that goes in the lamp and then last but not least um we're going to top coat the first one that we did um, now I am going to apologise guys, I actually recorded um, all of them together at the end, but then I stupidly deleted it. Um, so unfortunately you're not going to get to see a video of the finished set, you're just going to see a picture of the finished set. So I hope you like it and um, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.